We're back now at 819 with a decades-old mystery solved. In June of 1956, an intimate set of photographs were taken showing a young Elvis Presley with a woman whose identity has remained unknown for 55 years. The most iconic from the series is known as The Kiss. Well, now VanityFair.com is revealing that woman's name and the story behind the pictures. So who is our mystery lady? Well, here she is, Barbara Gray, and she's with us, along with the photographer, Alfred Wertheimer. Good morning to both of you. What a pleasure. Mm. So now you're known. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? Well, we'll see next week, won't we? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's, before I get to the story of these photographs from your side, let me bring Alfred in, okay? Take me through this photo shoot. What was happening? What, uh, you mean how I got there yeah, or how yeah. I even got to Elvis? Or, or yeah, no, how did, what, what was happening this day? What were you capturing? Well, we, uh, we, we, got, uh, we went from the Jefferson Hotel in Richmond, Virginia, uh, where I first saw Barbara in the lobby with Elvis. And after a little bit of coffee shop things, we took a cab to the Mosque Theater, which uh, was where Elvis was performing two shows booked by Colonel Tom Parker. And you were taking pictures the whole way. I mean, you well, were just taking on even, and off. I was taking pictures before then and after then. But to cut to the chase, um, we were up, I was up in the, uh, in the men's room where Elvis was changing and combing his hair and the Jordanaires were there. And somehow I got distracted and I got involved with the Jordanaires and Elvis disappears on me. So I said, what kind of journalist are you, Al? I'm chastising myself. Where is Elvis? So I left the Jordanaires, walked down the fire stairwell, and on the, on the same platform as the show that was taking place that the colonel had booked, after all, it was the Elvis Presley show, right. there was Elvis at the back of a long corridor with this woman in silhouette. And I said, there he is. And I started photographing. And which leads me perfectly, you're a good storyteller, leads yeah. me right to you. What were you doing in that stairwell? How did you come to meet the king of rock and roll? <laughs> well, we were talking about the things we had talked about on the phone earlier. You called out of the blue, and this was kind of a, a spur-of-the-moment yeah. date, if you will. Well, yeah, you could kind of call it that. Was this the first day you'd met him? Yes. Wow! Barbara, <laughs> this was the first day you met him, and these photos were the result? Right. So there were sparks? Uh, no. No? <laughs> Maybe he had sparks, but I, uh, I didn't even know who he was. He was a very young performer at the yes. time. And by the way, on the day of the shoot, you never got her name. No, I never did. I never realized that these would become iconic. You see, after Elvis died in, in 1976, remember, 19 years went by from... 58 to 76, where nobody called me for an Elvis Presley photograph. It's the day he died, Time Magazine called up, they said, bring your pictures over immediately. What do you remember about The Kiss, the picture called The Kiss? Tell me what was going through your mind at that moment. Well, he's a very funny kid. He was very silly, and we were running around chasing each other and just being young. And... Uh, he narrowed me down in the hallway there to ask me if I wanted to go to the Steve Allen show with him. And I said, uh, no, I don't think I can. I'm on my way to Philadelphia to see my boyfriend. And he said, that's when the challenge started for him. <laughs> <laughs> so. He was going to have his way. Did you talk to Elvis after that day? Did you keep in touch with him? I got a Christmas uh, card from him once, but that was it. Because... Uh, Shortly after that, I left the state, so I don't even know whether he tried to reach me or not. And Alfred, I know over the years some women have come to you and said, claiming to be the person, the woman in that photograph. Yes. Turns yes. out th those were not really the woman. No, How did you weren't. know Barbara was the real thing? Well, let me put it this way. I knew that they weren't the real thing because if you look at the photograph, Barbara's head is at the same height as Elvis. So everybody thought that she was at least five foot eight or five foot nine, maybe even six foot. But it turns out that she's up on the landing and Elvis is one step down. She's actually 5'10", she tells me. But at the time, I thought four she ten. was 5'11". 4'10". 4'10", yeah. Yeah, right. She's a short woman rather than a tall woman. So, so when they tell me five foot eight, I know they're immediately 
telling me a fib. Just 20 seconds left now that the, the mystery has yes. been eliminated. Yes. Do you think in some ways it takes some of the mystique away from the photograph? Well, a lot of women say we don't want to know who the woman is because that can allow us to put ourselves into her position. More of a cause, fantasy. Cause, cause, you know, the photograph is from three quarters from the rear. But now that the story is out, well, that's the way it is. You know, I, you I, can't control everything. I still like the fact that Barbara says there weren't sparks flying. That's your story, and you're sticking with it, young lady. Thank you so much. What a pleasure to meet you, Alfred. Pleasure to meet you as well. Thank you. Thank we you are much. back with much more on a Monday morning after your local news and weather.